and don't keep knowing more and more. I mean, if you are if you are seeking God, if we are hunger and thirsty to the Lord, He will reveal Himself to you. And I'm so amazed. That's why I said, Lord, I'm so amazed because I don't know this. I really don't know, Lord, that Your name is very important to our lives. Amen. To our walk here on earth. Amen. And this is the revelation of the Lord always to us, to each, every one of us, and if with one of us, the Lord has a revelation. Amen. Amen. He will reveal himself to those who continue to seek him and to want to, want to know him more and more. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And this sabi dito, sabi na, di ba, ano, sabi na, Lord, I am that I am. Amen. Nireveal niya po yan kay Moses. Pero putan po natin muna in the beginning, I mean, the word Elohim is God's title. Amen. Ibig sabihin dito, L is singular. Amen. Alam niyo po ba yan? You know that L is singular. That's why I'm so blessed. Sabi ko, Lord, kaya palang pangalan ko, Rujilin, kasi may L. So, <laughs> lahat po tayo, di ba? You will, you will uh, amaze because Samuel, Jeremiah, not only that, uh, Ezekiel, uh, sino, ano pa yung mga ano sa Bible? They have, they have L. Amen. Sabi dito, the word Elohim is God's title. L is singular. It's single po siya. Amen. Uh, that's why you see in Matthew 27, 46, sabi ni Jesus Christ when he was uh, uh, about, no, to, uh, sa cross po siya, sabi niya, Eli, Eli. Ang Eli, Eli po doon, single po. Father, Father, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Hindi niya sinabi, Elohim, Elohim. Amen. Hindi niya sinabing Elohim, Elohim, bakit mo ako pinabayaan? But he said, Eli, Eli, it's been my God, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. And then sabi niya dito, on the time, where is Jesus Christ on the time? Amen. On the creation. But on the time, why he said that only Eli, Eli, he doesn't say Elohim, Elohim. And sabi ito, ang Elohim is plural. Amen. Plural po ang Elohim. Kung magaling po kayo sa English nung high school po, Amen. Malala nyo po ang singular sa plural. <laughs> Tayo dito mag-ano kasi hindi pa ako teacher. <laughs> hindi pa ako English ng 101. Amen. Tawag doon. At sabi dito, that's why I remember our, when we study before, it's very important. The noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, conjunction, adjectives, and single pl plural, past, present, future. Napaka-importante pala yun. Now I realize that this is very important because when we read the Bible, we need to understand the word, amen, if it's past or present or for the future. Amen. Sabi dito, and Elohim is plural. Elohim means creator. Amen. When remember in Genesis 1, sabi dito, 1, 1, hindi ko na nilagay po. So, kung may Bible po kayo, i-open nyo na lang kasi hindi po mamove yung ano natin slide. Because we have, every one of us has a Bible, right? So if you have a Bible, if you want to know what's in Genesis 1-1, one, one, open your Bible. Amen? Hallelujah. Sabi Genesis 1-1, one, one, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Amen? And sabi, in the beginning, amen? And then sabi dito, and in so 26-27, sabi niya, and sabi niya, let us make man into our own image and into our likeness. Amen. Hallelujah. May Bible pa ako, so bupatin ko po. Ang wala pong Bible dyan. Ganito ka. So kailangan po magbal magdala ng Bible. Amen. It's very important that this is our sword. We will bring this. Amen. Ganito ka. Sabi dito, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. So ibig sabihin, Elohim, in the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. Bakit hindi ginamit ang L? Why? Because the, it's not single on that time. Amen. Ibig sabihin, nung nag-create ang Lord, hindi po siya nag-iisa. When the Father created the heavens and the earth, Amen, it's not alone. It's plural. Where is Jesus? Amen. Remember, in the book of, may uh, po tayo sa slide natin. Amen. In the book of John, sabi dito, the father and son in relationship. Amen. Nasa relationship po sila. Amen. Like ours, we have parents, right? We have a relationship. Or sometimes, misa nagbubuntis ka. Lagi mong pinakausap yung anak mong anak. Dito. No? 
sabi dito? Sabi dito, the son is in the bosom of the father. What do you mean bosom? Bosom it means in the heart, amen. Or sometimes in the in the in belly or most important is always in the bosom of the father. Ang bosom po is in, in the lagi pong nakalin on, amen. Sabi to in John 1:18, no one has ever seen God. God's only son is the one who seen him, the one who is closest to the father's heart. Ibig sabihin, is closest to the father's heart because the bosom it could be a heart, amen. Hallelujah. It could be a chest, amen. Has made him known within the God that there is a relationship. Amen. So hindi po masabi na minsan sasabihin isa lang, isa lang ang ang tawag doon. We have one God. Bakit tatlo yung ano? Bakit tatlo ang Diyos? Minsan may mga question na gano'n. No? Why the question? But if you understand in the beginning pa lang, there is Elohim and He's not alone. Amen. On the time that He's creating the heavens and the earth. Amen. So they are always together. So it means Elohim is our God but He's not alone. Amen. That's why we have a Godhead. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So kung hindi mo pa sasama si, si Holy Spirit, cult po yun. Kung tinanggal mo rin si Jesus, cult din po yun. Amen. Kung tinanggal mo yung Father, cult din po yun. Amen. Dapat complete, full package. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Godhead of the family, the Godhead is there. Amen. Complete po. Amen. Hallelujah. So that is Elohim, Creator. It means He can create everything. Example, in our lives, you know, you do you know, we are so thankful. Everything that we have, God, our God, He created. So you can ask, you can ask God, Lord, you are a creator, our Elohim. Lord, create me a pure heart. That's why David, Lord, create me a pure heart. Not only that, if you don't have creativity, you can ask God, Lord, give me a creativity. Help me to become creativity. Even in uh, what in the instruments or whatever in our lives, Amen. We can ask God, Amen. But for me, I'm so thankful, no? Uh, kasi matagal na po ako nag-aaral ng keyboard. <laughs> and I'm so blessed, Lord, no? I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful by the grace of God. Na I, I always ask God, Lord, help me, no? To become creativity. To help me that my hands will be creative in the way of uh, playing the keyboard. Amen. Because even not in the whatever it is, if you want to put in the stage or whatever or you want here but for me because I like to worship God alone Amen. I like gusto ko po magtipa-tipa ako mag-isa sa Lord eh nakakaya naman sa Lord nagtipa-tipa ako lang tunog <laughs> Amen no nakakahiya sabi ko Lord ako lang mag-isa sa ikaw pero yung tunog ko parang ano batingaw Amen so I ask the Lord Lord I'm always pray Lord help me I want to play a nice play for you for the songs Amen that it, I, that it lifts me up and not only that, that naman delight ka. And the Lord really, I saw, even by the grace of God, is that boastfulness, but I saw my promise. I can hear now the song. At least, may narinig na akong tunog ng kanta. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So that is, our Elohim, our God is a creator. He can create, He can help us if we ask. Amen. Amen. So glory to God. Amen. Because our Elohim, our God, he will give what He will create for us. What do you need? Amen. If we just only we are willing, if we desire, amen. Because for me, I like always even I my voice. I cannot sing like like you know like voice of angels or whatever the voice. But I like to sing with the Lord, amen. And I feel always if I pray to the Lord, if I sing to the Lord, I declare the word of God. I feel the presence of the Lord. And I feel like there's a smoke. And I feel like there's the heaven is open. And I feel there's a lot of intervention you will you will uh, you will uh, experience. Amen. Glory to God. So kung ano gusto mo maging maging magkaroon ka sa buhay mo, ask God because He will create something new for us. Amen. Today He will create something new to us. Amen. Glory to God. The next point. Eh? Hallelujah. So, sabi dito, the, our Yahweh is yud he vab he Memorize po nyo yan. Memorize po natin. yud he vab he Yun po yung pangalan ng Lord natin ibig sabihin. The personal name of God, sabi dito, I am that I am is a common English translation. Nag-English 101 po muna tayo saglit. Amen? 
Sabi dito, yun po yung mga sign ng Hebrew, amen. Amen, because the word Jesus is Hebrew. And yun sabi dito, Jewish, and yun sabi dito, is pronounced Yahweh, yun he vav he. Amen. As ibig sabihin po ng yun he vav he, I am who I am. Sabi ng Lord, so ibig sabihin, what the Lord want become, He will. What the Lord want to become in your life, in our lives, He can. He can do something in our life. Amen. So sabi niya dito, I will become what I choose to become. I am what I am. Kung ano ako, ano ako. I will be what will be. I create whatever I create or I am the existence, existing one, the meaning of the God's name. Amen. Yun pong ibig sabihin. So ibig sabihin, we have one God, but He lacked, He loved a lot of names. Hundreds of names. Amen. Glory to God that we can address in our situation of our lives. Amen. If we understand, I said, Lord, if only I understand before, but I don't know. But the Lord said, I reveal you things day by day if you are seeking me, if you hunger and thirst day on me. Sabi dito, Yahweh is explained with the sound alike, Eye. Amen. A Hebrew being verb, just what is translated to I am or I will be. Magtaka tayo, bakit? Ang pangalan po is noun, Amen. Hindi po siya action word, di ba? But the name Yahweh, the name I am who I am na Yahweh, or Yahweh, is verb, action words. So it's very different. He can act what He want to act in our life. He can do what He want to do. What we want, amen. What we need, amen. Because our God is an action star, amen. He can act whatever it is with us, amen. Hallelujah. Through His name. Sabi ni Isaiah 428, no names of God, uh, sabi dito, inamit ko po in, in o GB po, names of God Bible, kasi maray po, hindi po nila tinatanggal yung Hebrew name, Hebrew name ng Lord. Amen? They don't remove the Hebrew name, if you want to know. Sabi dito, I am Yahweh, that is my name, he said. I will not give my glory to anyone else or to the praise I deserve to idols. What I said in the past has come true. I will reveal new things before they happen. Amen. Sometimes may mga revelation. Amen. And, and actually po, our Lord, we call it Yahweh. Amen. Why Yahweh? Uh, may paliwanag po do, doon sa, uh, ancient, sa ano, no, Hebrew teacher. Ano. Ang explanation po niya, which is naalala niyo pag nagbasa po kayo yun ng Israel. Ang Israel po ay tinatawag siya Yisrael. Ang Jerusalem po ay Jerusalem. Amen. Why po? Amen. Ang ginagamit. Why? But because of the, because of what happened that is changes to Jehovah. Amen. That is not the correct pronunciation of our Lord. Yahweh is the correct pronunciation. Why? Because the ancient Hebrew before teachers, amen, of the Hebrew scribes, they changed it because the name Yahweh is very holy and the name Yahweh is you need to, to speak it with reverence, with love. Amen. So maybe people, that's why they said that maybe the Gentiles we gonna, will speak the name of Yahweh in not in good manners. Amen. That's why they try to hide it from the Gentiles. Amen. Amen. Because they don't know how to, to understand the Hebrew. Amen. So they try to remove. Amen. And they chase it to Je. And then sabi dito, Yahweh, that is my name, sabi ng Lord. Amen. Because Yahweh is a big impact. And the Gentiles, they are thinking, the scribes, they are thinking that the, the, that the, the Gentiles will blaspheme the name of Yahweh. That's why they try to protect the name of Yahweh. But it's not right, right? Because we, not do, we, we want also, as a Gentiles, we need to know also the true name of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. And that Yahweh is I am who I am. Amen. This is the name of our God. Amen. Glory to God. Sabi ito, I am Yahweh. That is Hebrew po to. This is Hebrew name of our God. Amen. I use this name of God's Bible translation because this Bible that they have, they don't remove Elohim, they don't remove Yahweh, they don't remove the Adonai. Amen. Just only for our uh, reference. Amen. Hallelujah. The next book, glory to God. Amen. So Yahweh is Yud Hebabhe is Titragamaton. Amen. This is four letters, Hebrew word. Amen. Sabi nito, Y-H-Y-W-H. Maano po yung mga Hebrew kasi pag ano pa na sila, wala po silang consonants. Ah, wala silang vowels. 
Ano ba yung AI o bawas ba yung konsonans? Bawas. 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 Ayun, wala po silang bawas. Amen. Puro lang sila konsonans. Kaya ganon, Yahweh. Kaya pwede nila ganon. Kaya basta, ano, hindi ko kasi ano pa dating sa English ng mga, nakalimutan ko na po yung. Amen. Glory to God. So sabi dito, in Exodus 3, 14 to 15, ang word po ng Lord, Elohim answered to Moses, Amen. So, our God, Amen. Ayi, who ayi? Sabi niya, I am who I am. That this is what you must say to the people of Israel. Ayi has sent me, Amen, has sent to you. Ibig sabihin, he's talking to Moses, Amen. Kasi sabi niya, Moses, Lord, anong sasabihin ko? What I will tell? If they will ask, what is your name? Sabi niya, Ayi, o Ayi. Sabi natin dito kanina, di ba? The name Yahweh is action words. Ayi, sabi dito, at ang I am, He can do all things He want. He can be your deliverer. He can be your healer. He can be your helper. He can be your sanctifier. He can be your teacher. He can be your provider. He can be your your almighty God. He can be your warrior. He can be everything in our lives. What He, he will do. Amen. And sabi dito, of your and Yahweh Elohim, Of your ancestors, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title throughout every generation. This is the title of God. Amen. Glory to God. So napaka ano no? Napaka na maamis ka, Lord. Ganito pala. This is your name, O Lord. Amen. Glory to God. The Lord has. That's why He said we are keep talking only. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shema, Jehovah Shalom. Amen. Jehovah. We are talking only that. Sometimes we don't understand what we are talking about. But the Lord wants us to understand so that it will be effective in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. In Exodus 33:9, He said, "When Moses said to God to show me Your glory, for they are commanded to go up in the land of flowing with milk and honey," He said, "Nya dito." Yahweh said, I will let all my goodness pass in the front of you. And there I will call out my name, Yahweh. I will be kind to anyone I want to. I will be merciful to anyone I want to. So, I, mean, I will give com- compassion. I will give mercy to anyone who I want. Amen. So, ibig sabihin, kung anong gusto ng Lord, kung gusto ng Lord, pagahingin ka. Kung gusto ng Lord, bigyan ka ng trabaho. Kung gusto ng Lord, na anong sa buhay mo gusto mo, the Lord will give in. Hallelujah. Sabi din in Exodus 34.6, Then Yahweh passed in the front of Moses, calling out, Yahweh, Yahweh, a compassionate and merciful, El, patient, always faithful and ready to forgive. Amen. Even though we backslide, even though we go up from the presence of the Lord, even we do sins, the Lord said, I forgive you. Amen. So, Yahweh yud hivabhe, I am who I am. Sabi dito, sabi ng Lord, I will become what I will become. I choose to become. I am what I want. I'll be what I will be. I create whatever I create. For I am the one who is existence one. I mean, it means He can become what He wanted to become in every life of us. He can be with Ayawe Rohi. Rohi means shepherd. Amen. To us. Amen. Yahweh El Shaddai, God Almighty. He can be Yahweh Yaira to us. Provider. He can be our Yahweh Neshi. Our banner, our victory, our protector, Yahweh, our righteousness, Yahweh, our peace, Yahweh, Rafi, our Rafika, or our healer, Amen. Yahweh, Gabor, our Lord of War, Yahweh, Makades, the Lord, our our sanctifier, Yahweh, Shalom, the Lord, our peace, our Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, the name above all names. He can and He will be everything unto us, whatever He want, Amen. Hallelujah. That is our God. His name is Yahweh. That I am who I am. Amen. Yud he vav he. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So that's why, uh, for me, I just uh, I just remind God. Uh, I said it's so nice to know your name because for us also, like for me, you know my name. Rose Philip, pula gin nila lagay nasa nalulupot ko ako. Kasi yung di malit po yung pangalan ko R O J po ako eh J as in jar. Tapos nilagay <laughs> ko sa paper ko minsan, ROJ, yung gay po. So, sabi ko mali yung pangalan ko. So, siyempre, sa mga certificate mo, mali yung pangalan mo, di ba? So, minsan, nalulungkot ako kasi sabi ko, yung pangalan ko, lagi nalang nababago. Kung nilang may MRS ID, ako identification. Amen. 
Glory to God. That's why it's very good also that all of us, we can know and understand the name of God. Amen. Because this is the covenant names of our God. Amen. For all the generations. Makita natin kanina. Sabi dito, Yahweh Ruhi. Amen. Ruhi or Ruhi, the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. He can be a shepherd to our soul. Amen. That's why It, it's not, si Kuya ano, si Kuya Alan po is, alam natin na nag-segwe-segwe daw siya, di ba? The Lord is continue to shepherd him in his life. Amen. Alam natin, sabi ng, ng Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack nothing. Amen. He make it me to lie down in the green pasture. So lahat po, naranasan po yun ni Kuya Alan nung nasa presence po siya ng Lord, nung hindi pa siya nag-segwe-segwe. Amen. Naranasan niya po yan. Binigyan siya ng Lord ng kapayapaan. Lahat po yun. Amen. But, nung umalis siya, the Lord is still continue to look for him. Amen. To shepherd him. Amen. Patuloy po siyang iniingatan ng Lord. Amen. Kaliluya. So, ibig sabihin, our Lord, Amen, sabi niya, uh, you will never need anything. You will not lack nothing. Even you go far away from me a bit. But sabi ng Lord, do what can snatch you from the hands of the Father. Sabi nga dito, sabi, ang response naman ng ships is, they can hear the voice of God. And so, we are to stand po, no? Kasi, nagtingin-tingin lang naman to si Kuya, Kuya Alan doon sa mga kabila, ano ba itong mga muka, ano, no? Di ba yung parang nag-check-check nag lang, ano ba itong mga lugar na ito, maganda ba ito, hindi. Baka para sa itong at kong mura ito, doon na lang ako sa, ano, doon ako sa, ano, punta ako sa kanaan kasi mga with floor niya, with bump and honey daw doon. Di ba? Tiningnan mo lang, amen, nagtingin lang. Pero nung tinawag ng ship, sabi sa John 10.27, sabi dito, my ship respond. Nag-response po si Kuya. We know that lagi po si Kuya minimesis, lagi po si Kuya tinatawagan. Amen? Si Kuya mo, siya kasama po sa trabaho. <laughs> si Pastor Nikki, kung sino mga kapatiran, di ba? And continuous praying also. Amen? Ba? And, and also in Dubai, they continue to intercede for you, Kuya. Pastor Alex, he's so happy na And you came back because they are putting you in their intercession. Amen. Glory to God. And it's an answered prayer. Glory to God. Sabi dito, ship responds. And sabi, my ship responds to my voice. And you are the ship of God. You are the ship of the Lord. Every one of us, we are the ship of the Lord. Because we respond. Amen. Because our God is our Jehovah Rumi. That is His name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The shepherd of our soul. At hindi lang dahil sabi ni Lord, You cannot, no one can snatch you from the hands of the Father. If you are already in the Lord, and you will go some way, mag-segwe, segwe, but the Lord said, you, no one can snatch you from the hands of the Father, I will take you back into the ship walls. Amen. Amen. Ang reflection po natin dito, if Yahweh is the Rui, shepherd of our life, I am never lucky. The enemy cannot snatch me from the hands of the Abba Father. And I will keep tuning my ears open to the voice of my Lord. Amen. Glory to God. So we'll keep tuning our ears to the Lord. Amen. He's calling us in every situation of our lives. Even in case of Bible study, some of the This is the call of the Lord also. Amen. Glory to God. The next book, our God, one of the covenant names of our God. And sometimes you are in the needs of we need victory, we need protection. Amen. Yahweh Nessie we can address to Him. Lord, we need protection. Lord, we need victory. And we will address the name of God, Jehovah Yahweh Nessie. Amen. He will be the one to, to activate. It will be activated. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we are addressing the right no, medicine for in our situation. Alam na naman kung may sakit mo is namamaga, uminom ka ng panadol. ba? Diba? Daming gamot, everything is medicine. Amen. But kung panadol, iinom mo doon sa nam uh, namamaga, gumagaling kaya sa sakit mo doon ng ulo. Amen. So parang ganun lang din yun. You cannot address on the situation. Kung iba yung tinatawag mo, amen. We are using the name of our Lord Jesus Christ because it is the name above the name that the Lord is, is given to us. But the Lord said, In Jeremiah 33, call unto me, and I will answer you. And I will show you a great and mighty things that you never knew yet. Amen. At yung mga kadip things na yan, ibinibigay ng Lord sa atin, those who seek Him, 
those who are thirsty and hunger to Him, so that we can understand more and we can use more and the the way that the Lord wants us to 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 do. Amen. We can use it properly. Sometimes we pray, but it's not it's not uh, in the right way. Amen. So that's why the Lord wants to teach us to show us that you address in the proper way. Kasi ano mang galing natin sa prayer, kung yung pag-address natin sa situation is mali, hindi po yung effective. That's why the Lord reminds us, if you want protection, if you want victory, if you want the banner, the, because banner is, you know the banner, you will be fully protected from the crown of your head and from the sole of this of your feet. You know the banner that we use, if, when, if the Lord, you, you, Yahweh Nessie, you will call on. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Our Yahweh Nessie will help us. It will activate it, Amen. Hallelujah. Sabi to, Yahweh said to us, write the reminder on the scroll, make that Joshua hears. Kailan tayo lahat, mga karinig, we are Joshua generation, Amen. Sabi to, I will completely erase any memory of the Malikites from the earth. Sabi to, Moses built an altar and called it Yahweh Nessie, Amen. The Lord is our victory, the Lord is our banner. Amen. Kasi pinanalo sila ng Lord. Sabi ng Lord, hindi kayo kayang erase na mga Amalekites. Amen. The enemy cannot erase us. Why? Because the Lord is our victory, our banner, our our Yahweh Nessie. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sabi dito, that's, and sabi nga dito, sabi ng Romans 8, 31, 32, if God is with us, who can be against us? Amen. He spared His Son for us. Amen. And that the blood of Jesus, it's it's pours out for us. And sabi sa reflection, the enemy cannot erase me from the Lord, because will erase the enemy. The, the enemy will the enemy will be erased by the Lord. And the life of the Son of God spur me. I will always abide in the Son of God, our Lord and Jesus Christ. Amen. So we will always abide. Amen. So that the Lord will continue to reveal all things to us. Amen. It's easier to address the situation if we know who's name we're gonna, who's, what kind of antidote we're gonna put, what kind of medicine we're gonna put. It's the same medicine, but we need that right antidote to put in. Amen. Glory to God. Yahweh Nessie, if we want victory, amen, in the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The next point is Yahweh the Lord our righteousness. If we know that we are not right, amen. If we know before we are unrighteous, unrighteous. we know before that we are sinners, amen. But in Jeremiah 23, 5 to 6, amen, the days are coming, declares the Yahweh, when I will grow a righteous Chemak branch, amen, for David. He will be king to, hold, to all who will roll wisely, amen. Sabi dito sa ano, he will do what is fair and right, amen. So tama at walang ano, wala po siyang uh, tawag doon, wala pong poveritising, wala pong ano, right lahat ang gagawin. Sabi dito, si Yahweh checked no, po ang tinatawag, amen. The gods of righteousness, amen. Yun po ang tawag. Kaya sabi mo minsan, Lord, help me to become righteous before you, amen. Let Jehovah, let Yahweh sit kino activate in my life. Amen. Glory to God. Sabi sa Galatians 3, 27, you are all God's children by believing in Christ Yeshua. Clearly, all you who were baptized in Christ's name have clothed yourselves with Christ's righteousness. The reflections po natin is my unrighteousness. In my unrighteousness, the Lord has made me right before the sight of the Father. I have a righteous king that cover me and care for me. Because those those shepherds of Israel they don't care well for those uh, for those people amen in the Israel before so the Lord said I will send my righteous branch and that is Jesus amen hallelujah and the next voice Yahweh El Shaddai the Lord Almighty the God of sufficient marami ka po bang pangangailangan amen natanong ko sa Lord Lord sabi ko ayun pala dapat pala tinatawag ko lagi si, si Yahweh El Shaddai Sa mga situation natin, amen, if we want, no, sufficiently, we have Lord God Almighty, amen. Hallelujah. That is the right name that we're gonna, we're gonna speak on that situation, amen. We will tell, Lord, this is your antidote, Lord, in the situation. Our Yahweh El Shaddai, the God, the Lord God Almighty, 
He is the sufficient God in the situation. Sabi sa Genesis 17:1 to 8, for Abraham, si Lord po nagsabi niyan, when Abraham was 99 years old, Yahweh appeared to him. He said to Abraham, I am El Shaddai. Shaddai po yung pangalan. Live in my presence with integrity. Dapat po may panindigan. Kaya kung nasa presence ka ng Lord, manindigan ka. With integrity. Kasi kung wala kang integrity, baling-baling ka, sabi ng Lord, those people cannot receive what they ask. In the book of James 1.5. Amen. And I will give you my promise, sabi ng, I will give you very many descendants, sabi dito. And uh, sabi, ang inano pa dito ng Lord, sabi niya, my nation and kings will come from you. I will make you, promise you and your descendants for generation to come and everlasting promise. I will be your Elohim and the God of your descendants. I am also giving you a land where you are living. Sabi dito, in the Canaan, you will, and your descendants, your permanent possession, Amen. So, yung position po natin maging permanent, yun po sinabi niya kay ano eh, kay Abraham. And sabi dito, tinawag po siya doon na God Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Yahweh, sabi niya, ang pangalan niya sa I am El Shaddai. Ibig sabihin, I am El Shaddai. The God Almighty, the God of Sufficiency. So, ibig sabihin, <coughs> pag siya ang God of Sufficiency, He is a God of Sufficient. Amen. So he is, he can do everything. He can supply all. Everything, he will be supplied for all your needs. You will need physical and spiritual blessings, deliverance, whatever it is. Our Jehovah, our Yahweh Al Shaddai is the one who can do it. Amen. It will activate you address on that situation with Yahweh Al Shaddai. Amen. Our God Almighty. Sometimes we are praying all the names of God, but we don't understand. Amen. In that situation, amen. Sabi dito, mayroon pa tayong bunker in the spiritual, no? We have bank in heaven. We have bunker. The God of sufficient, amen. Kasi sinabi po bang sufficient is nagkukulang po ba? No. So it means, our God, our almighty God, our El Shaddai, hindi po ikaw magkukulang. Hindi po tayo magkukulang. Sabi dito, it will keep abundance. Amen. That's why in John 10.10, 10, sabi ni Jesus, the enemy will come to steal, kill, and destroy. Sabi niya, but, sabi niya, I came that my sheep will have life so that they will have everything they need. Abundantly po. Amen. If we, have, we want abundance, no? Abundance of whatever in physical or spiritual, not only for money, but everything in our lives. Amen. We ask our God. Amen. Our El Shaddai. Amen. But we always use the name above all names, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The next po, glory to God. Ano po kasunod niyo po yan? The Lord is our provider. Magkasunod po sila. Why? Mayroon po tayong banker. Amen. We have a banko. May banko. Sino po dong, sino pong gustong ano, marami pong pera? Sino pong maraming kapayapaan? Sino pong maraming ano, the sufficient God, the Almighty God will release, right? So after that, sabi mo, the Lord will provide. Amen. Tapos po nun, Yehubay Ayra, the Lord of Provider, in Genesis 22.12, sabi niya, do not lay a hand on that boy. Sabi nito, kasi nalala natin in the, in the life of Isaac and Abraham. Amen. I know, sabi niya, you fear Elohim because you did not refuse to give me your son your only son. Soon that exchange po. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Binigay niya ang anak niya. Pumayag na ano siya. Kasi hindi naman niya kanya. Hindi naman kanya eh. Amen. When the Lord asked him, give me your son. Amen. To sacrifice. I, uh, Abraham gave. And what the Lord said, don't touch that boy. And what happened? Because sabi ng Lord, because you have fear me. No? Hindi kung ako pinagdamutan. Huwag mong ano niya. I will provide. Sabi ni kaya nagsabi agad si Moses as ni, si Abraham in the mountain of the Lord there is provision. Yahweh. Amen. Ibig sabihin for us that we have we ask God. So it means pinapakita lang sa atin dito that the Yahweh Yaira, the Lord our provider is the one who gonna provide what we ask. Amen. Hallelujah. And our banker, no? Our Lord God Almighty is the banker. And he will just give, if, you know, my banker, my banko, but 
There is a tiller. Sino ba yung tiller yung nag-release ng pera, di ba? So this is the provider. Amen. That's why there's the God provider, Jehovah Jireh. Na di ba? Ganun yung kanta. Amen. Sabi dito, God loved the world and gave His only Son. So we need, kapag gusto mo, gusto mo na mag, mag activate yan, you need to do something action work. Amen. Amen. If you said, Lord, you will provide everything, you need to do something. Amen. Not only you will say, the Lord will provide, but you are not actioning. Amen. Sabi dito, I just need the fear of God. Amen. Kung wala kang takot sa Lord, you know, if you, we just need only to fear God so that we can have a heart wisdom. We can understand what the Lord wants us to do. Amen. So that the provision will come. Because if we don't have, uh, if, if you don't have wisdom, that provision will not come. Amen. So we need to do something. And sabi dito, that, that I cannot refuse to what the Lord has commanded me to do. For everything that I need has been prepared already since before I was born. Everything is there. Jehovah, our, our Yahweh El Shaddai, is already the bunker. He prepared everything. Physical, spiritual blessing is there. And the provider, our Jehovah Jireh, our Yahweh Jireh, He's the one. He will send, He will He will give. Amen. Because He's provider. He is the teller of the bank. No? He will... It was okay. This it needs it needs it needs of this church. It needs of the congregation. But we need to do something, amen. So it's so joy, you know, that we have a tiller of the bank that is ready to release any time if we need, amen. Sino pong maraming utang jan? Amen. You need to ask to our Almighty God, amen. Address in every situation. Yahweh <laughs> Shaddai, amen. And Yahweh Yaira, amen. Address them, amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. Kung gusto ng nga no, anong bang mga gusto, provision, or, or kapayapaan, or whatever man, address your situation to our Yahweh Al Shaddai and our Yahweh, Yahweh Yaira. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God and use the name of Jesus because it is the name of our own names. Hallelujah. The next po, malapit na po tayo dyan. Our Jehovah Rapha, sino po bang may mga sakit? Sakit spiritual and physical. We will ask our Yahweh Rofi, Rofi ka, Amen. The Lord, our healer. Amen. Sabi sa Exodus 15, 26, you will listen carefully to, uh, to your Elohim and do what is, is considered right. If you pay attention to His command and obey His laws, I will never make you suffer any of the diseases I made the Egyptians to suffer because I am Yahweh Rofeka, Amen. The healer. So if you are in the situation that you are in pain, you are in sickness, whatever physical or spiritual sickness, or whatever it is that you have, Amen. Ask Yahweh Rofi, Rufika, Amen. Address. Father God, I need Yahweh Rofi to do this in the name of Jesus, Amen. You need to address in every situation with the name of God. What is the reason why He gave those names? For what? Para lang bang sasabihin natin na wala alam? Amen? It means there is something behind why He wants us to know. And, and, and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they will not address that name of the name of God if they don't experience that. For what reason? Amen? Hallelujah, sabi dito, Therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for another that you may be healed. Amen? Because sometimes, because of unforgiveness, amen, because of, uh, of unconfession sins, the sickness is still there, is not coming out. Because of confession sins, because marami pong dahilan minsan kasi if you cannot, you, hindi ka po makapag give up, amen. That's why you are in pain, you are in sickness, amen. That's why it's important also to release, amen, so that healing will come, amen. Sabi dito, ang pinaka-importante ito, we will listen and obey the Lord's command. Amen. Glory to God. The next po, our Yahweh Shalom. Lahat po tayo minsan, before, we don't have peace. Amen. And the Lord said, I am Shalom. He's Yeshua Shalom. Amen. And then, our Yeshua Shalom, sabi niya, He's the one who may come down for us. Amen. Sa, sa kay ano po, kay, kay, uh, kay Gideon, siya po yung nagpapayapa kay Gideon because on that time po, talagang inano sila ng mga enemy. Kahit mga anim po nila, tinatago na yung paano nila, kinkip nila kasi kukunin. 
But he, the, he's in the trouble on that time. Amen. And the Lord said, I uh, come down and don't be afraid. On the situation that we are facing right now, whatever it is, if you feel that in situation in your life now that you feel like you are in the midst of of, of death and life, or you are of kung ano man ang nag uh, nag ano sa yon nag uh, na problema mo ngayon, whatever situation ang kinakarap mo, do not be in trouble. Let not your heart be troubled. Let the peace of God, Amen. Our Yahweh Shalom to overtake that situation, Amen. amen. The God of peace, amen. Let the peace of God be upon you and address to the Lord for that situation. That in those troubles, the Lord is peace through the blood sacrifice on the cross, amen. Hallelujah. The next point, eh? And then the conclusion po, marami pa po. We just only, I show only the few. Amen. Because there is hundreds names of God and there is po, you need to look for it, amen. There are lots of names of God. There is Jehovah Gabor. There is Adonai, amen, our master. Our Jehovah Shema, the God who always, he, his, his, who is present. Marami pa po, amen. So, you look for it, amen. You check it. You seek it, the name of the Lord. So that he will reveal to all of us all these things, amen. Kasi this is lang po yung patikim lang po ng Lord John. And so that the Lord will speak to you, will speak to us, Day by day, use that in every situation of your lives, in our lives. Amen. If you need deliverance, look for the Lord. Jehovah, Jehovah M. Kades, and Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Yahweh M. Kades. Amen. So, marami po silang pangal, marami pong pag isang Diyos natin, but He has a lot of names. Amen. Amen. It means that is our intimate relationship to God. Kung baga kaibigan mo, pwede mo siyang tawagin na Pastor Chita, pwede mong tawagin na ang pangalan ko niya ay si Tito. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, close kayo. Amen. So, ganun po yun. There's an intimate relationship. Amen. Hindi mo pwedeng tawagin yung taong niya na ng kanyang palayang hindi naman kayo close. Amen. O kung ano man, di ba? So, it means, if you have right relationship to God, deeper relationship to God, amen, you can, you can speak to God. Lord, you are our our Yahweh Yahweh, I know you will provide everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Sabi ito sa conclusion natin, there's still a lot of hundreds of covenants from God, covenants names for us that we can use to address in every situation of our life. Knowing the names of our God, it leads us to know more deeper and deeper to Him. Not only that our relationship to our God is become more intense and is keeping our lives to draw more closer and it will bring big impact in our walk in Christ. Amen. Sa coronations, you know, because our Lord Jesus Christ is the name above all names. His name is Yeshua. Do you know that there is coronation in heaven? That the name of Jesus, pangalpinangalanan po siyang Yeshua. That the name above all names, Sabi ko coronation na, and have this mind among yourselves which is your in Christ Jesus. Although he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man, and being found in human form. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. Amen. Kaya sabi ng Lord, di ba? Use my name. Whatever you ask in my name. Amen. So it means, not only na, na sabi ng Lord, whatever you ask in my name, but the Lord said, call unto me, I will answer, I will show you great more and mighty things. Amen. Para mas mabilis. Amen. Yung antidote, mabilis gumaling ang sakit na dapat pagalingin. Amen. Di ba? Alam nga namang nilagay mong penicillin na ikaw ay inuubo. Pero pwede mas anti-bacteria. Iinumin. Pero alam nga namang lagay mong panadol, ang, 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 ang ano, tawag doon, ang, ang umuubo ka ba, pwede ka bang magpanadol? Hindi siguro, di ba? So, dapat may proper medication. So, the Lord is teaching us that His name has a proper medication to every situation of our lives. Use the name of God. Research. Amen. Ano pong bang ginagawa ni Google? Bakit provide ng Lord si Google? Di ba? And bakit anong ginagawa ng Bible natin? So that if you will not understand here, check everything. Amen. There's a Hebrew. There's a... In the Hebrew, you check. Amen. Pag-aralan po natin. Amen. So that we will understand 
and we know more about God. Amen. Glory to God. That the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Kasi yun po ang pangalan ni Jesus ng Yeshua, our Lord Jesus, na ginagamit natin lagi because this is the name na inordent na gagamitin natin sa lahat ng situation. But we will use the names of God to every every and every every situation na kailangan natin maalis, imit, ma, 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 ano natin, ma-overcome, imit. Glory to God. That is what it is. Patingin po ako. Amen. The covenant names of our God and thanks and to God be all the glory. Amen. So, lahat po, salamat sa Lord, no? That we do that to understand everything. And hopefully, everyone understand it. Amen. Because it is very important in our walk in Christ. To God be all the glory. Let us be clap of me. Let us start. Amen. Are we blessed? Amen. Every one of us, we need to understand and to know everything about this. What we hear today is not just normal revelation, but it will bring big, big impact into our lives. Amen. It's not like only normal name of God, but Yahweh, if we speak the name of Yahweh, we need to have a reverence. We need to have a respect. Amen. We need to, to, to say it with the love. Amen. Because the name Yahweh is the name of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. The name that will do something in our lives. Amen. That will do impact, big impact in every situation of our lives. Amen. The name Yahweh, it brings us to what to what the Lord wants us to be and what the Lord wants to do in our lives. Amen.
the manifestation of the I am who I am, Yahweh. You will do great things, Lord God, in every lives of your people, Lord God. You will do great impact in every lives of your people who hear your words today. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the manifestation of your name, Yahweh, to every lives of the God today. In the name of Jesus, in every situation that is facing right now, in every situation of your people, Lord God, you will be the one, Lord God, Lord Jesus, to do something, Lord God. Not only, oh Lord God, Lord Jesus, our Elohim, the Creator. Lord, create each and every one a new heart. Lord God, Lord, create a creativity in every life, oh Lord God. Lord, create a way that there is no way in every situation of your children, oh Lord God. Whatever is the creation of your life, of your children, oh God, that is sometimes there is no way. Oh Lord God, have your way, oh Lord. Create, Lord God, a way. Create, oh Lord God, a passage. chest. Create, O oh Lord God, is an everyone, Lord God, a salvation coming out to their family in the name of Jesus. Create, O oh Lord God, to their family coming out, oh Lord God, salvation, Lord God, the way coming out, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Not only that, our Yahweh El Shaddai, our Elohim, I declare and decree today, O oh Lord God, to your people who hear your word, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Your word, Lord God, your creativity and their lives will manifest, Lord God. Manifest, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Elohim, have your way, and Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Our Yahweh El Shaddai, I declare and decree today, and the Father, in the name of Jesus. Yahweh El Shaddai, in every situation of your people, Lord God, that the need, Lord God, the sufficiency in every life, oh Lord God. I declare and decree today, oh Lord God, that you gonna pour out for in your sufficiency and their lives. They will not be lacking, oh Lord God. We because, because we have a sufficient God, and that is you, our Yahweh, El Shaddai, our Lord God Almighty. Everything is in you, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. And Lord, today, Father, in the name of Jesus, the provision that your children, Lord to God, we are waiting right now. It's a mighty name of Jesus. For you said, Lord God, those who believe in my name by faith. And you said, Lord God, believe in God and believe also in me. Lord, today, Father, you believe by faith, you will not put to share. Lord, today, what your people, your children are waiting, Lord God. They wait, oh Lord God, our Yahweh Lila. They are waiting, Lord, for the provision, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. This provision that He asked you before, oh Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, it will fall apart each and every one. Those who heard, those who asked the provision, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Provision, Lord God, and the physical lives, oh Lord God. Provision, Lord God, for the penances. Provision, Lord God, for everything in their lives, Lord God. And the preservation that they have, you know, right now in the name of Jesus. Let this, you know, Lord God. Your provision, Lord God, will fall apart each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you also, Lord to God, that you are the God who healed. Healed every inner man, healed every, every spiritual life, and never thought the physical life of your people right now, Lord God, we are addressing the pain, sickness, or disease right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Through your name, O oh God, our Yahweh, Rofi, Rofika, in the mighty name of Jesus, be held in the mighty name of Jesus. Healing in the mighty name of Jesus.
declare and decree in the mighty name of Jesus that the time that you did present here, the time that you came here on this place, Lord oh God, it will not be in vain. But Lord, you will return back double portion of the time in the mighty name of Jesus. Free time, Lord oh God, free time in the mighty name of Jesus that they can enjoy, Lord oh God, with their family.